Hello everybody, welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you are not. It's Baby Jesus here with another money making guide. And today's resource of choice will be eggs. Now since the game has released, there's always been a huge demand for eggs just because they only drop from turkeys or turkey nests. If there are other ways, I have not found them. Um, therefore, they're pretty scarce just because turkeys don't always drop them and turkey nests don't appear on your compass. So unless you know exactly what you're looking for and where, your odds of finding them are slim to none. So, today I'm going to be showing you a great route that can get you anywhere between 20 to 25 eggs every 20 minutes, as well as a bunch of blueberries because we're just going to gather those on the way. Now, before we get too, too far into the video, if you do find anything uh, in this video that is useful or beneficial to you in any way, shape, or form, please consider hitting the subscribe button, leaving a like if you really enjoyed it, and if you didn't, well, leave me a comment to let me know what I did wrong and how I can improve in the future. But on that note, let's get right into it. So you guys can see right in front of us, this is what the nests look like. Uh, when you gather them, they do change their appearance slightly, just like every other material. Um, and we are starting our route just northeast of Windsward. Now, unlike most of my other routes, there is no fast travel right next to us, but it's still only maybe a five-minute walk from Windsward over to our starting area. So we are starting right here where the beige or brown becomes green, and it's just on this, well, on my cursor exactly. Uh, and it's underneath this tree. Now these trees are gonna be a common occurrence for you. You're gonna start recognizing them and noticing them because the eggs typically spawn at the base of them somewhere in the, the general area. So we are gonna start off, we're gonna gather this nest. Now nests will always give you um, feathers and will sometimes give you eggs. Unfortunately, that one did not drop an egg. Great start for us right there. After you've gathered this first one, we are just gonna head over to this area over here which is just to our right. Now on this route, you will notice there are a lot of different things to gather. If you're doing this purely for gold making, gather everything. So you guys can see here, these are the blueberries. Gather all the blueberries on the way. For the sake of the video, we are not gathering them. Um, just because I the eggs are very difficult to spot. So I want this to be very precise. And so you guys can see exactly where they are spawning. Now there was just a... Um, there was a corruption portal here. So the eggs haven't spawned, but you guys can see on the ground right here. That is what they look like after the egg has been gathered for the nest from the nest rather. So if there, uh, if there were to be one, it'll be right where my marker is. Now, our next one is going to be over here next to this little building. We're going to head over there now. So again, I'm not going to be gathering everything in sight like I normally do in my videos, just because I want you guys to see the exact route that you take to get all of your eggs. But in my tests, uh, this route will net you about 500 blueberries if you gather every blueberry that you can buy. And again, this route takes roughly 20 minutes to complete. You guys can see there's some more blueberries to our left. Gather them, gather them. Um, and again, as mentioned, these trees, you guys can see there is an egg underneath it. Gather it if you can, or what was what we're here for. After you've gathered this, there we go, we got our egg. We are going to be heading into the center or central area of uh, the, the compound here. This is Amrine Temple. Uh, and we're going to be heading over towards this little um, broken wall here. Let's just head through. Again, this is a pretty um, pretty early area. So anybody can do this. These guys are going to be around the level 20. So if you're in that general area, you should have no problem taking them out. Now we're just walking up here. You guys can see there's some more blueberries. For the sake of the video, we aren't gathering them. And again, the eggs won't spawn on your compass. So you always take a look for these trees here. If you know there's an egg in the general area, look for those trees and you're almost guaranteed to stumble upon it. You guys can see there's the tree and here's our nest. So we're going to go here. Our next one is just outside or is just to our right, if you will. And you guys see this dotted line. It's going to be around this little bush. Now, make sure you guys are using this little foliage on the map. It's there intentionally to make things more precise. So we're just going next to these two little dots here. So we're going to make our way over now. Again, this route will get you anywhere between 20 to 25 eggs every 20 minutes, which is the respawn timer for turkey nests, which is very important. This route is almost exactly 20 minutes. If you're gathering the blueberries, it's slightly longer, which means that you can run this effectively in perpetuity. Now, you guys can see here's our next nest, again, at the base of the tree. Now, when you change biomes or change regions, the uh, trees themselves will change foliage. So these will go from green to orange trees. You guys will see when we go up a little bit further. Um, just keep in mind that the tree shape itself doesn't change. Our next egg is just going to be over here to our left. And we're going to head back up. You guys see some blueberry bushes all around. A big thicket of them here. Gather them. I will say it every time I see a blueberry bush. Gather the blueberries. Again, big tree. We know there's eggs in the area. Keep your eyes peeled to the ground. And you guys can see it's right to the, to the right of the, uh, the tree trunk. After you've gathered this, our next one is going to be a bit of a hike up. We are going to be heading towards the sort of where it goes from dark green to a uh, light green. 
and we're going to be heading right to this little uh, bump right there. You guys see there is a life jewel spawn point as well as you guys will see a ton of life bloom spawn points as well. And a lot of angry kitties. Uh, I say leave the cats alone unless they aggro you and then get your money's worth and time's worth and skin them. Hides are still going for around 20 cents a piece right now. So decent way to make some coin there as well. And you guys can see blueberries. They sell like hotcake. That was from our last route. I think not quite all of them, but. You guys can see big trees. We're looking for nests on the ground. Keep your eyes peeled. And there they are. So after we've gathered these, uh, this egg rather, pardon me. Our next one is going to be up by this little broken wall to the left of our square. And uh, to the right hand jut out by this bush. So we're just going to make our way up now. Again, this should bring you by a couple more blueberry bushes. Gather them. Blueberry bushes to our right. Blueberry bushes directly in front of us. I swear the selling of those items could not have happened better. Blueberries are selling for about 50 cents a piece on my server right now. They've, I've seen them go as high as $1.10. Uh, and they don't really go much lower than 50 cents. So keep that all with a grain of salt. Every server is different. Again, guys, we have our big tree, which means the nest is going to be near the base of it. And lo and behold, there are our eggs. Now, sometimes you can get multiple eggs from a, uh, from a drop, but it's very, very uncommon. So our next spot, we are just going to be heading up. We're going to be crossing the river, and we're going to be making our way towards uh, this little three thicket part. We're going to be going almost dead center of it to get our next egg. So you guys see some wire fiber to our right. If you have a high enough gathering, make sure you're getting that. So this isn't a fancy route. This isn't anything difficult, and it's relatively accessible to all levels just because of the... Uh, level of the mobs that are near us anyone can do it effectively so we are now into uh, everfall i believe is what it just said uh, you guys can see everfall right here we're just in the southern part of everfall and this is where the foliage starts to change which makes it great because you guys see those giant orange trees those are our proverbial egg trees makes life real easy to spot them they are they stick out like a sore thumb and they make everything real real uh convenient so again, we know there's an egg in the area. We see our orange tree. We're going to make our way for the base of it. And we should find our eggs with very little issue. Again, a lot of cats. If they attack you, listen for that telltale like howl that they do. And uh, we'll make sure that... Well, I guess we'll skin this one. He fell right on the eggs. Make sure you get your time's worth and your money's worth out of them. We're going to gather our turkey nest here. After we've done that, our next spot is going to be just across the river here. And we're going to be going into the ruins right on that marker. Now, I will be showing a... Oh, there's another angry kitty if we walk too close. I will be showing a map of the full route after um, towards the end of the video. So, just keep in mind, if you guys want to take a screenshot, that would be your best bet. But until then, we do see the, dry, the giant stereotypical um, egg tree, if you will. And there are our eggs at the base. Now, you guys saw a bunch of blueberry bushes gather them i will say it every time without fail gather the blueberries they are valuable and you can make a lot of money especially if you're doing this for gold making it's a great way to supplement just having the eggs so we are going to now move on you guys can see we're going all the way up to this little intersection if you will a little break in the road and we're going right to this marker here so it's a bit of a hike but well worth it if you go through the broken wall here you don't have too many mobs to deal with as you guys have seen i don't think we've actually fought any real mobs other than the lynxes which we dispatch pretty easily. So this is, I believe, where we're going to have to fight our first couple just to get through. We don't have much of a choice. We might have to fight him. You can try and kite around to the right here, but very, very unlikely that you'll be able to get by without fighting anything. But it does happen. And if you're lucky, you can do that. So we're just going to stick to the outside. The more you stick to the outside, the less mobs spawn. So you can run that uh, run that gambit and take that gamble and try not to get anything. You guys see some blueberries to your left here that are always going to spawn. So just remember, if you're going far around, you want to gather those blueberries. And lo and behold, there's our bright orange tree. We know there's an egg in the area. So we're going to head towards it and look at the ground. My marker was pretty darn close. We're going to gather that egg, or that nest rather, and keep moving. So once you've gathered it from here, we're going to head to the top part of this little track, if you will. And we're going to be heading somewhat in this area right here. Again, with the change of the biome, the change of the area, those bright orange trees do help guide your way a lot. You guys see some blueberry bushes over there. Go for them. So just keep your eyes peeled for those orange trees. And there it is in the distance. So we know there's an egg in the area. And we see that tree. You can normally put one and one together and just head straight for them. Again, blueberry bushes do spawn close to the base there. So gather those as well. 
but we are making a beeline just because I want you guys to to really see where these eggs are and where they spawn uh, just because they're so easy to miss so we're now at the base of our tree we keep our eyes peeled we take a look for these uh, this egg spawn here I don't know if we missed it but they can spawn in various different locations but uh, just want to maybe gather yeah you guys can see so if you guys look at the ground right here that's already been gathered so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get the egg from this one but that's what it does look like it's just to the right hand side of this tree now afterwards we are going to head up to this area here right by the first little um, jut out of the wall and we're just going to make our way down there you guys should be able to go to the right hand side of this mob here and not touch them there's our egg tree way off in the distance again it feels weird calling it an egg tree but we're going to nonetheless and we're just going to make a beeline for that And you guys can see there is our nest so we're going to gather that again the eggs are fantastic to sell if you're trying to make some gold if you are doing late game crafting or late game uh, cooking pardon me you want to make sure you are um, gathering as many of these eggs as possible we're just going to be heading down here so we're actually going to loop back around the wall you want to gather as many of these eggs as possible because they're very very important for the late game meals uh, a lot of the high um the high boosting meals do require eggs if you guys see another big blueberry patch gather them gather the blueberries and you guys can see our big egg tree right here we're gonna head straight to it you guys see the egg on the ground already or the the nest part of me we're gonna gather that and then you guys can see another egg tree i still find it weird calling them that off to the um our technically left hand side just by this jut right here you guys can see the bushes it's gonna be right down around there and again bright orange tree dead giveaway We're now here, and at the base of our tree, there are our eggs. We did piss off the cat. So we're just going to jump back and poke him a couple times with our uh, with our magic stick here. Gather the nest. Oh, we gathered an we aggroed another angry cat. There we go. We're now going to gather our nest. And our next egg is actually just going to spawn right on the cusp, sort of almost on the dotted line right to the bottom here underneath that little three piece thicket right there again egg tree you know there's an egg in this area we are just going to head to the base of the tree and it should be around it hmm. just keep in mind though as much as the eggs typically spawn at the base of these trees the trees can be cut down so if you are using those as your full reference point, just keep in mind, it might be a little difficult sometimes if they do get cut. So it looks like this egg may have been gathered. We should have been able to find it by now. Doesn't look like it's here, which is fine. It happens. So again, it is in this general area right here. Should be around here. It looks like it's been gathered. That's okay. Yeah, it's been right here. You guys can see right on my feet. That's where it should spawn. So after you've gathered this one or attempted to gather we're going to head into the compound again to the outside corner of this pillar right here so we're just going to head on over and make our way down it's not too too far of a run you guys can see there's our telltale egg tree bright orange sticks out like a sore thumb when you get back into windsward the trees do go green again so just keep that in mind that it can become a little bit more difficult to spot and there are our eggs once you've gathered this one, we're just going to head down to the other side of the road right around here we know it's there big orange tree and you want to be keeping your eyes peeled for as many of those blueberry bushes as can be found and sometimes the little uh, lock on cursors to gatherable items do help you out you guys saw there it spotted the eggs way before we did after you've gathered this one here we are going to make our way to the outside corner of the compound which is just sort of this area here now again we see that bright orange tree it does lead us there like a beacon and we're going to make our way over you guys see some blueberry bushes to the right gather them there are some defenders in here if you guys want to take them out it should not be very difficult to do and again more blueberry bushes and there's our egg and no angry cat which is ideal after you've gathered this one we're gonna head just to the bottom corner and he's angry now if i can hit some abilities that'd be lovely 
And there we go. So after you've gathered this one here, we're just going to head to the bottom corner of this little track. You guys can see there's sort of this little thicket here. And we just want to be sort of north of that. You guys see the egg tree already over in the distance, which is ideal. I clearly did very well in biology. Eggs come from trees now. Now, if you guys do see turkeys on this route, definitely kill them. Definitely kill them. Get their feathers. Get their poultry. Uh, more importantly, they can drop eggs as well. Just far less frequent than the nests themselves. After you've gathered this nest here, we are going to head pretty far south, actually. We're going to be going along this cliff face. And we're just going to be heading down past the big uh, uh, Cygnus, I guess it is. Uh, and we're just going to be heading toward the dark green and the light green meet each other. So we're going to make our way down there now. This is probably the longest run of them all, but I do believe there are some blueberry spawns on the way. Speak of the devil right there. Angry cat. The beauty is we're heading far enough that we can just keep running. Even though we've aggroed him, we can just keep running until he gets out of his aggro range. We can leash him effectively. You can hear him right behind us. And that's okay. As tempting as all these blue things are to try and gather, none of them are gatherable. They're just pretty to look at. So we're just going to hop up and over this bridge and keep on going. Again, we're heading down past Cygnus, which is that giant pillar. And we're just going to be heading to this area here. Again, if you are doing all this for gold gathering, you are one of the, you will want to be picking up these um, petal caps, fronded petal caps, I believe they are. Um, just because they're great for crafting material. You guys can see that pillar. We're going to the right-hand side of it. And you guys can see star metal off to the uh, off in the distance as well. Gather it if you so choose. So now we're back in Windsward. Um, the quote-unquote egg trees will not be as blatantly obvious. You guys can still see it. That's what one of them looks like when it's got the green foliage off in the distance. Um, but it is not as like crazy obvious as the bright orange ones. So again, we are just here where, where the green meets the other green. And we're just going to be heading to the base of this massive tree. And we should find our next turkey nest. And there it is right here to the left of the tree. Once you've gathered this one, we're going to be heading down to this little um, ruin right here. Keep in mind, this one can be a little tricky. It can literally hide from you in the ruin itself. It's tucked away in a corner. So we're just going to make our way along the ruins here. Thankfully, we don't have to go into the ruins, so we don't have to worry about too, too many mobs. You guys can see there is our egg tree, so we know it's going to be somewhere near the base. We have a bunch of blueberries that do spawn on this little hill, so make sure you gather them. It's actually a fairly large blueberry patch. So, gather all those blueberries, and this egg does spawn back here. So, it's sort of tucked away. Just keep your eyes peeled for it, and again, that is right here. After you've gathered this one, we're just going to be heading down to this area here, right where this sort of dotted line goes 45 degrees. We're going to be heading just to the left of that on the map. So we're just going to keep on moving. You guys may have to kill the Celestial Defender. You may not have to. It, it really depends if he's looking at you or not, but they don't have very high aggro ranges. We have another cat. More blueberries to our left. The cat's right in our way. So we're just going to take him up. Gather those blueberries. Make your way down to this tree. And you guys should find the nest just here. Right next to some more blueberries. Gather them. After you've gathered this batch of... Uh, this this egg, pardon me. You're going to head to this little thicket here. And you should find the next egg in our route. Now, do keep in mind there are a decent amount of corruptions that can spawn in this area. That will mess up the spawn rates. And spawn... Lo uh, not spawn location, but spawn rates of the nest. As well as the blueberries. If they are too close because they kill everything in the area. So, just keep that in mind. After you've gathered this one, we are going to be heading down to sort of this area with um, all the rocks. And you guys can see there's sort of like six bushes in a row. And we're going to be heading just around here for the next one. So make your way. There is a cat right there, an angry lynx. I was about to get a lot angrier when I smack him. Uh, just make sure you take care of them. If you hit them before they get to you, it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry about them knocking you back and canceling abilities and stuff. Again, for gold, definitely call the rabbits. If you can get some of that rabbit meat, then it's uh, very, very lucrative. Stay to the left of this boulder. You guys can find some more blueberries. So definitely do that. So you guys can see the egg tree in the distance. We're going to be making our way towards it. And it looks like there is a corruption. Speak of the devil. Right next to us. Darn near. After you get close. You guys can see the eggs do spawn. Just to the left of the tree trunk. After you've gathered this. Our next one is just going to be up here. 
you guys can see how there's sort of the four making a weird shape here it's actually just going to be the bottom right hand corner of that angry cat right in front of us make sure you take care of it and you guys can see more blueberries please 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 if you're here for gold gather them all once you're here you guys can see the egg is at the base of this tree we're going to gather that and if you guys recognize where we are now we're going to where the green meets the gray in that area right there because that is where our starting point was so we're just going to make our way over this way grab the rounded petal cap we're going to hop up and over there's a bunch of iron that spawns on this cliff face here would highly recommend mining it there's also some life blooms over there on the left so you guys can see there's an egg tree right there so we're just going to make our way down and that will complete our route now some of these were already gathered this time uh be it by sheer coincidence that people were walking through but for the most part people don't even notice when they walk over a nest they just assume it's flint or it's a bush and they just keep on moving as you guys can see this is a pretty populated area and the eggs are just sitting here so on this route we did manage to gather 19 eggs again there were a bunch that were already gathered some that weren't spawned etc so again you will get on average between 20 and 25 eggs per route in my previous test, you guys saw you'll get between 450 and 500 blueberries if you're gathering all the blueberries. And if you are um, killing any turkeys or all the rabbits that you walk by and skinning all the cats, you can get, I mean, it's pretty random, but you can get a ton of different meat from them. So that is that effectively. I'll pull up a map to show you guys the route once again. Um, give me a quick second here. And I will do that for you guys right now. So this route is just going to show you a general overview of where we went and I will bring that up right now. Pardon me for the delay. So let me just bring this over onto the screen for you now. And here we are. So we started. on where the gray meets the green right here so we started right here we went from here over to this spot here to get another egg there was a corruption so it wasn't spawned made our way up to this little building we then traveled inside here went up to this spot here outside to the right here all the way up to the again where the green meets the gray or darker green i guess went all the way up to this wall and then afterwards we walked all the way to here moved over to this way walked all the way up to this little crook in the wall here went up inside to here outside of the wall back down into out to this broken wall here out to the far outside crossed the road to the end of the broken wall right here Cross the road again to the bottom corner of this little track, as I mentioned. After this, we walked all the way along the outside of the cliff face, all the way down past that little pillar, remember that was Cygnus, to where the dark green and the light green meet. After we gathered that one, we went to the inside of the broken wall right here. You guys remember that's where it's sort of hidden in behind and can actually be sort of impossible to see. After we did that, we went down to the inside of this track here to here all the way out to the middle of these two rocks up to this little bush here and then made our way back to our starting area so that is your whole route guys it's nothing too too fancy nothing too too difficult um oh pardon me we did miss here um from here you did go in and then back out pardon me there was a few more in here there's one here one here and then back out and then made your way down pardon me guys uh so this route is basically non-existent can't erase it doesn't matter so guys that's about it for the video i really appreciate it i'm glad you i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave a like a comment subscribe if you really enjoyed it let me know what other routes you'd like to see in the future and i hope this helped you i hope this benefited you guys so uh on that note take care of yourselves have yourselves an amazing day and i will see you in the next one take care